All right, welcome back to our rifle build series. This is going to be um, just the barrel this time around. Uh, the lower, it's already been done. It's on one of our other um, AR pistol lowers. Um, ATF is added again, so we need to go tell them that, hey, leave our pistol braces alone. Please be respectful. Give them my address and all that stuff. They already know where you live at regardless. Stop playing games with them and tell them, hey, we're not going to stand for this. This is why it's a bad idea. And let them know that we're not going to sit still and we'll take them to court if we need to. Now, we're going to talk about new. This is a new barrel that I found at ar15discount.com. Um, it's a nice little little company I've dealt with before in the past. And, uh, yes, that's my blue anodized aluminum action wrench. Uh, this is called, let's see here. And it's upside down. So we go this way here. And there we go. We got the Roscoe Manufacturing 556 NATO 1 and 7 twist 45 4150 CMD chrome. I don't know. CMD chrome something vaccinated. Who knows? Hey, maybe this the V stands for it. Got the poke. So anyway, first thing I do since we've run into that one MP. Always make sure we have a gas port, and then it's clear. I do have a thread protector on here yet, because I don't know which uh, muzzle brake I'm going to use. This barrel does measure out to 12 and a half inches. Uh, I don't have a 12 and a half inch 556 uh, AR pistol, so I wanted to try this. Um, I got the 10 and a half, uh, so I want to try this, and I might go ahead and go get a 14 and a half, and then you know pin it. For later on because I don't have a uh, I don't have a lot of short barrels I've already put my assembly grease here on the back right there as you can see it uh, it's getting ready to go on to that ATI upper I want to kind of make a, a lightweight especially with the ATF pistol things remember that the brace comment period up, uh, opened up again with uh, with um, comment series please read that read over their 40 I think it's the 4499 form or 4290. Anyway, read, read. People are dropping videos all over the place. Please read that and see how ridiculous they're counting weight. So in a day when they're counting weight, so we're looking at um, and le barrel length and stuff like that. The, the ding you on points, which is crazy. That ATI upper that weighs less and everybody doesn't like because it's 30 bucks. Might be the way to go if you got an AR pistol for the future. Please comment on that and let them know that we're not going to stand for that. So anyway, what I'm going to ask you guys, because I have not, this will be my first time, they had this Roscoe Manufacturing um, barrel on sale for $141. So and I was like, well, I asked 12 and a half inch. I want to do that. I'm probably going to do a 13.7 and maybe a 14.5 later on because I got a 10.5. I'm not going to do a 7.5 uh, AR-15 pistol build simply because it's just a 22 Magnum ballistically at that point. So we got like an M4 profile here. Um, got my thread protector on there again. Uh, may always make sure we got a good thing. Over here are a good gas port hole. Over here it is dimpled for a slide on um, gas block. I'm going to use the uh, UTG adjustable gas block on this. So that's what I'm going to put on here. I'm going to use a uh, yeah, CMMG um, carbine gas length tube, gas tube for it. So it's going to have a CMG. So this thing's going to have a Roscoe manufacturer. I've never heard of these people. I like the dog. Uh, Emmett goes crazy. If you heard him last time, he was down here. He was messing around with the uh, box that it came in, and it's got a little pit bull on it. It's kind of funny. Um, he likes it. We got dogs and cats. So um, we got the sticker. I put the sticker that it came with. I know this doesn't mean nothing to anybody, but it's a funny story. The sticker that it came with, it's got the picture of the dog on it and Roscoe manufacturing around it. So I went ahead and I put it at the bottom part of my gun cabinet that I keep up in my room. And uh, when he comes in there, he goes right to it and goes, you know, we have a, a, a we need to do a video on it. We got a Husky and um, so he'll go up, do it and go, He'll try to do what I do. When I when I see the dog, I go, Loki, 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 like that. 
And that's what he does to that. He's trying to say Loki, Loki, Loki uh, to the sticker and then talks to the sticker like it's a real dog. You know, he's, he's, he knows better than that, but he's a he, he anyway. So anyway, let's take a look at the uh, rifle. Like I said, it's 1 in 12. Let's look at the, we got the standard um, M4 guide rod or yeah, um, ramps, feeding ramps, I should say. And we got the barrel in there, so we can get a, uh, we can get a good light section here. There we go. See the barrel in there. I see the rifling, the chamber, and all that. Looks pretty good. So anyway, um, if you guys used have used Roscoe manufacturing barrels, um, let me know how they perform for you. This is the first time I'm using this, so uh, hopefully um, it impresses me enough. Uh, and uh, the barrels seem to be a little bit more than. Um, Bear Creek Arsenal, but if they're better quality, I don't mind spending a little bit more. I have good luck out of Bear Creek Arsenal stuff, so I'm not going to say anything bad. I like Anderson loaders. I like aerial bridge. I like everything, uh, as long as it's uh, going to hold up. There's no problem with it. Anyway, uh, let us know in the comments below if you've used Roscoe's uh, manufacturing's barrels or anything, because they make other things as well. Let us know that in the comments below. I, I believe they sell upper kits. And um, what kind of look you had with it, or have you even heard of them? Because I didn't hear of them until I was looking for a barrel, and voila, I just popped up. And uh, they do have their own site, so uh, we're going to tag in the video for this for them. And uh, if you're out there listening to Roscoe Manufacturing, uh, feel free to send us anything you want us to test. If you want an honest opinion about your product, we're gonna give it. We'll, we'll give it to you. Um, and that's the only way to be, to be the fair way in, in, in part. Say, hey, this is a good product. Hey, I would pass on this. You know, um, I don't like to give bad reviews, but I'm not going to lie on a review either. So that's just the way it is. And um, so we're going to use some uh, parts and some other parts here. Uh, we get us our um, dust cover, forward assist, and we're using some white label armory uh, stuff for the to put on the upper here so anyway so this is going to be the new upper build here 12.5 uh, uh, I'm not going to get a bolt I'm going to use the bolt in the, uh, the carrier group and the charging handle from the 10.5 inch barrel upper and then and then it hell if this works out pretty good turns out to be a good deal good barrel accuracy and all that I'll build a lower and it'll have its, it'll be its own dedicated gun um, that's the way I do it. if I build something I test it on another lower if I like it then I'll go ahead and, and build it as a dedicated gun so anyway remember please like share and subscribe to the channel we are going to do a 1100 uh, subscriber fan giveaway for all of our supporters uh, make sure you're in on that by the let we're going to do it sometime after we hit 1100 we're about uh, 67 away from that at this point or 63 so please like share subscribe doesn't cost you nothing to subscribe to the channel also um every little bit helps every time you share a video thumbs up um, even negative comments help out in the algorithms it doesn't really matter does it uh please like share and subscribe and remember as always folks it costs nothing to be kind to one another and in this day and age we need a lot of kindness make sure you hit the atf up on their uh, pistol brace fiasco and on the upper frame receiver fiasco as well tell them no tell them reason why be respectful don't cuss them out don't go on there and say shout out and fringe because they don't count those they want answers and, um, and if we give them enough answers like we did on both of them last time then they won't go no further on any, any type of rules changes and we won't have no bump stop fiasco so anyway We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. You guys are great. And we'll catch you next time.